Hi everybody, I wanted to share with you today a slowed down time lapse of one of my paintings and I'm working on Cardinal here. And the reason why I wanted to share Cardinal with you is because I wanted you to see how to get uh, a bit of detail work in a painting that has an abstract nature to it. Um, it is possible. You, you can uh, acquire some detail uh, even though you want to keep the painting very loose and uh, carefree. And with Cardinal here, he has a lot of texture in his feathers. There is a specific way his feathers lay. And if I were to just drop the color on and add my, my spray of water, you would lose a lot of that detail and it would just look sort of like a fluffy uh, mess, really. So I wanted to retain a lot of that texture that you see uh, with a cardinal's feathers. So here I am sort of mimicking the nature of the way the feathers lay. You can see the U-shaped uh, lines that I'm creating and as soon as I create them then I lightly spray with water to sort of blur them out, let it dry, and then come back in with another color and do the same thing. So I am layering color and layering texture atop texture and the inks are just transparent enough that you can see the lines that you created from underneath. So it really gives it a lot of dimension. And with a uh, cardinal here, I used uh, Bombay India inks in crimson, red violet, and cherry red. And the red violet is the deepest color. So I'm adding that one uh, for the edges, you can see the very dark edges of the cardinal there by the tip of the feathers and down by the tail. Um, and then I go back in with the red-violet for shadow work as well. And so that gives uh, this bird a lot of, of dimension to it. And as you see here, I'm using a Prismacolor pencil in black. This is one of my favorite go-to things to use when I have to work in a tight space. And the Cardinal's eyes uh, and around the face is so small. I really wanted to get in there and, uh, and, and the pencil is the perfect way to do that. So as you see here, um, this is after several layers, you can see that there are lines underneath, but they're blurred out, they're very muted, but you can definitely tell, it gives the impression of the way the feathers are laying on uh, the bird's back. And I'm coming in with white uh, in uh, Bombay India ink and I'm just sort of highlighting certain areas to again further enhance those feathers. Here I'm using a Micron pen. Those are fantastic to get a lot of detail in the eyes uh, and around the face of an animal or the bird that you're you're working on. Um, it, it's wonderful for that. I just started using the Micron pens actually and they are really pretty amazing uh, for detail work and they don't smudge and they create a very crisp and black line. Now with the Prismacolor pencil, uh, black I have found works extremely well. You can soften it up as much as you want by pressing lightly. Here I've tried uh, to use uh, another few similar colors of Prismacolor pencil uh, to the color in the bird. It doesn't work as well. You see me going straight back to the black uh, and, uh, and the ink because they're too waxy, I have found. Some of them work better than others, but the black is consistent, um, black Prismacolor pencil. And if you dip it in water, 
before you place it atop your Yupo paper. It almost uh, acts like a watercolor pencil, so it's wonderful to work with. And here I'm just going through with a few more highlights. You can really start to see on the back of the bird now, especially where the the feathers uh, of the wings are. They, they have a lot of dimension to them. Here I'm using alcohol ink for the branch. And I love working with alcohol ink when I have to uh, paint wood because uh, it gives texture like the acrylic inks don't. And um, very, very easy to work with the alcohol inks. Uh, I am using just two colors here actually and I will do a future tutorial um, on how to get a wood look with uh, the alcohol inks if you would like. Um, and here I just wanted to add a little bit of the red was uh, just a little bit too much so I wanted to add a contrasting color uh, against the red to bring that red out. So you see me adding green up there by the head and blue down there by the wings. And uh, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.